Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Antibody Dry and Wet Lab. In our previous video, we will learn about that how we can make antibody model. And uh, today video is most important video because is the next step toward the antibody modeling or uh, any protein modeling. So if you if when we predict our model through any server or through any tool. Uh, we can go for second step the second step is the validation of of the model so today we will talk about how we can check how we can validate our model so we will start our video so first today we are going to uh, validate our model through mole property mole property is the online server that can be used to predict or to validate our model so so we start our video so when you open the page of the mole property is the welcome page of the mole property uh, I will share the link of this mole property page in the description so we will start our uh, validation process so first uh, we will if we have a antibody uh, file so we'll go for choose file or if we have any pdb id we just put pdb id and go for fetch and if we, if you have a model a uh, self-generated model or any downloading model we can go for choose file so uh, we have a model on our desktop that we have made uh, in our last video that the model is uh, 3c41 so we are going to validate uh, check the validity of our 3c41 model so we just click and just upload the model when you upload the model it will start working on this it will show that the job is running and uh, it will take a few minutes to uh, validate our model so you you just follow step by step and uh, it will be easy for you to predict the validity of the model so this uh, is just some uh, antibody uh, or other protein uh, uploaded pdb file features that is uh, the tool is working on it then you just click on continue when you click on continue uh, it will it will ask that to add some hydrogen so you just click on the add hydrogens uh, when you click on add hydrogen and then you click on start adding H so the tool already adding H, uh, H bond uh, to, to your model it is uh, necessary to do this uh, things because uh, it is uh, good for the to check the validity of the model so you continue next step is uh, you you just click on continue then he, uh, it will ask that uh, you wanna uh, download your uh, your generated model that uh, the tool generated that uh, based on uh, um, uh, H bonding. Uh, so it, it is depends. It is uh, depend on you uh, whether you want to download it in or whether you want to skip it. So we will skip it or skip. You can click on cancel if you want to download. You can just click on OK. So we are uh, we are not going to download it. So we click on cancel. So we will continue with our uh, model prediction uh, steps. So here we click on continue. Uh, when we click on continue, it will ask that to analyze all atoms, cost, uh, contact, and geometry. So you just click on this option: analyze all atom contacts and geometry so it will take uh, it will ask for to to tell us that uh, which which things they are uh, going to uh, check uh, the validity of the model so you just have a look and then uh, remain the default setting and uh, didn't click on uh, on any uh, atom or oh, sorry any uh, tab so we just click on run program to perform these analysis so uh, when we click on this um, 
it will show that your job is running is the last step of the uh, validity uh, check so uh, it will validate all these things step by step means uh, in first step it will check the bond length and bond angle geometry in the second step it will check the rama general analysis in third step rotaman analysis see beta deviation analysis so all these steps uh, this server uh, check step by step and when it it has been checked uh, you can see on the left side it showing the check uh, mark so when it will complete all these check so your uh, your validation results will be ready so just wait for one minute uh, it it will complete so when it will complete uh, then uh, it will show the validation results so on the left side you can also check that there is a time uh, is telling us that in how many time it will take and show the validation results so we are on last step and we have completed the last step so here here is your uh, all validations model uh, results so you can check the most uh, three uh, f uh, important parameter of the model. So these are first is the class score and second is the Ramachandran. And you you are familiar uh, with the Ramachandran is the most important in the uh, in the model of uh, any protein or any 3D model. So the third one, the third one is the mole probability score and uh, you can see uh, is a very good prediction uh, of our validation or prediction of our model uh, about these parameters because we use the a bodybuilder model to generate the uh, this antibody structure so you can check uh, there is a class score is a very good and you know about the class score is the steady clashes between different atom in the model and uh, you can see the poor rotamars are very few is four and uh, ramaj is not line zero and favored regions is a 95 percent favored region so it's a very good predictive model so and more probability score is also very good is a 1.35 so by using this online server you can check your validation and you can check the three main parameters of any model that uh, that that are class score ramachandran and mole probability score so um, uh, in in our next video uh, we will uh, learn about that how we can how we can uh, make uh, make changes in our model by using the wincode software so wincode software is a very famous software by using wincode software we can uh, correct our poor rotamers and we can uh, we can change the ramachandran favorite region and favorite region by manually so the next uh, video is very important uh, so uh, so must uh, watch the next video and this video so for uh, latest update about my new videos uh, please subscribe my channel thank you so much